love them and we hate them. Okay, we're working on some integer word problems. You'll find out that integer word problems are a lot of times about uh, temperature, altitude, and something else with gaining or losing because, of course, we're talking about positive and negative numbers now, so those make sense. So you're doing a bunch of these in class, but I'm just picking a few from our class worksheet to do on this video so you can watch how my brain thinks and maybe that helps you and prepares you for our final assessment word problems. All right, so this one I included because it talks about finding an average, and you need to know how to do that. So let's look at that. The high temperatures for the first five days of January in Fargo, North Dakota are listed below. Find the average high temperature for these days. Wow, Fargo, North Dakota is pretty cold. Okay, so when we find an average, we need to add them all up, okay? then we need to divide by the amount we have, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do first. I have to add all these integers up. So that's gonna be negative four plus three plus zero plus negative six. Put that in parentheses for organization purposes and plus two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to complete this. Negative four plus three is negative one plus zero is still negative one plus negative six plus two. Okay, negative one plus negative six is negative seven plus two is just negative five. Okay, you can pause and make sure you agree with that. Um, in fact, I encourage you to pause each of these and try them before I go through them to make your life easier. Okay, then you need to divide by the amount you have. So I have one, two, three, four, five temperatures. So I take that total and I divide by five because that's how many temperatures I have. So I know that five divided by five is just one. And my answer will be negative because one of these is negative. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So my average is negative one degrees. Okay, find the average. So there we go, let's check our answer. Yes, that's correct, fabulous. Okay, now try number seven on your own and come back. All right, a football team gained six yards in the first down, lost 15 yards in the second down, and gained 12 yards on the third down. How many yards do they need to gain on the fourth down to have a 10 yard gain from the starting position. Okay, let's see where they are first. All these types of problems are about just adding those integers together. So a gain represents a positive number, okay? Then, on the first down they lost 15 yards, so that'll be, represent a negative number. Then, on the third down, they gained again 12 yards, so that's another positive number. Okay, so a positive six plus a negative 15, that'll be negative nine. Negative nine, plus a positive 12, that'll be just the three, okay? So right now we're at three yards, okay? So what's the question asking again? How many yards do they need to gain in the fourth down, so they got one more down, to have a 10 yard gain from the starting position? So I'm three yards from the starting position, so I need to be 10 yards from the starting position, so I need to go seven more yards. Hope that makes sense, otherwise ask me any questions you have. All right, finally, eight. While returning to the glider port, Lucy descended for three minutes at a rate of 400 feet per minute. Okay, descended. She's going down, okay, 400 feet per minute, and she did this for three minutes. Okay, she's going down. Oh, my goodness, stop doing this during my videos. Okay, sorry. All right. If her starting altitude is 28,000 feet, 2,800 feet, what's her final altitude? Okay, let's, let's look at where she is now. So if she descends, that's a negative number going down, 400 yards for three minutes. So 400 per yard, or per, sorry, 400 feet, not yards anymore, 400 feet for, per minute for three minutes, she's going to have lost 1,200 feet total. So if she started at 2,800 feet and she lost 1,200, that means she's now at about 16, exactly 1,600 feet. So her starting altitude is 28, what's her final altitude? 1,600 feet. All right, um, so I hope that kind of explains what's going on here and I want you to give the rest of these a try. There's also a that quiz that I'm posting with more word problems for integers.